when I when I look back, you know, I think uh, obviously on the ice, you know, the, the first year, the, the when I broke the Mike Boss's record. All those are, and the first, actually, the, the greatest moment was probably the whiteout in the first playoff game. You know, it was, I heard the stories about how great it is and how loud it, how, how, how loud the building is and, and everybody's wearing white. I think that's really hit me, you know, that was unbelievable atmosphere. And, um, but, uh, you know, on the ice, I think that everything was, you know, I'm so happy I started my career there and, uh, and I could feel that the love for the game and how friendly the people are there and how much the hockey means to them. So, you know, I think those are the best memories uh, um, on the ice. But I think, you know, like there's a reason why they call it friendly Manitoba. The people, the, the, if you're a hockey player and you treat people well and, and you're just like a king there, they, they make you feel so special, you know, and... Uh, and it's a great feeling when you can give some experience and excitement for the fans and you create the relationship with the fans. I think that was the most important thing for me. And uh, and that's why I think uh, Depo can agree this as well, that it, it was just so sad to leave from there. And uh, and I didn't have a chance to prepare that move at all. So um, when you fall out in this uh, city and the fans and everything, and then... Yeah, you, you next day you're gone you almost feel that you failed and you know um, you don't worth anything so it was tough tough moment and they always told me that you know the first trade is always the toughest and they were right you know it was emotionally very hard but uh, obviously it's a part of the business and you have to move on and just uh, start creating the new new start where you go so uh, but like i said it was it was a sad day for sure